Yo, 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 yo. Rio, what up? User, what up? User, what up? Yo, WWE, Jim. Let me see what we got on here, man. Uh... We're going to do Q&A, man. Melvin Carson, what up? Santi, Hallmark, what up? Meet the Fishers, Copper, what up? Larry, eat the fishers, copper, what up? Larry, 987, Apple Tree, Ashley Williams, Marie Hernandez, what up? <laughs> they took my live down earlier, man. They killing me on the live now, bro. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta chill out on the live. They on my ass. I can't I can't say nothing. Uh BD, what up? Always Kelly Bear, what up? Katie, what up? They on me with the live, y'all. They they on me with the live. But let's get started. I want I want to show y'all something right quick though. We're gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna start out with a little information and then we're gonna go into Q and A. We're gonna go into Q and A. Old school, John Bland, what up? Mario. Okay. This is a study. Y'all hit the like button, roll the coin, hit the like button, hit the share button, roll the coin. Coin in the comments, coin gifts. This is a study they done in um <clears throat> in South America about the old mix, right? We obtained the Hoblo group of these two subjects and we learned that they belong to Hoblo group A. Old mix, Hoblo group A. Now look what it say. One of the most abundant amongst the um, founding and indigenous populations of America. So they saying Hoblo Group A is what they found in um in the old mix, right? Y'all got me, Paul? What's up, Isha? What up? Hoblo Group A is what they found in the old mix. Y'all got me? Now check this out. Now let's let's break. Let's go into Hoblo Group A. Let's get into Hoblo Group A. Okay, Hoblo Group A, now check this out, Hoblo Group A is the oldest Hoblo Group on the face of the earth, you see that right, oldest, youngest over here, Hoblo Group A is the oldest y'all, you see that? That is the oldest DNA on the face of the earth. Hoblo Group A. It's not L or E like they think, like they try to tell us that black people are L or E, E1, B1, or black people L from Africa. They lying about that, but we're going we, we gonna to skip that anyway. Hoblo Group A is the oldest. That is the old Mick DNA. Okay. Now let me show y'all something else. I got to shrink this. I got to shrink it. But let me show y'all. Hoblo Group A. Hoblo Group A is found <clears throat> at a low to moderate frequencies in the Horn of Africa. The Horn of Africa. Hoblo Group A. They try to say Hoblo Group A is, is like Native Americans. But why is the DNA found in Africa? Why is the DNA found in Africa if it's Hoblo Group A indigenous to America, right? Right? Let me just keep going. Let's keep going. Let me show y'all something else. Hoblo Group A. One second, one second. Let me get to the receipt. So Hoblo Group A, they say it's in the horn. It's in the horn of Africa. This is the horn of Africa right here. This is Kushite area. This is Nubians area. This is the Nubians area. They say Hoblo Group A 
is in the is in the Horn of Africa, right? Right here. This is Kushite area. This is where the Nubians were in Africa. A, how about group A? Why does the Nubians area and the old mix have the same hoblo group? They have the same hoblo group. Horn of Africa, hoblo group A, Kushites, Nubians. Now let me go back and show y'all what they said about the old mix. Old mix, hoblo group A. Old mix, hoblo group A, indigenous population to America. Now check this out. Horn of Africa. They say this, this area is Hoblo Group A right here. It's the same area the Nubians live in. Everybody else in Africa has Hoblo Group L. Hoblo Group L is the rest of Africa. Why is Hoblo Group A an American Hoblo Group in the Horn of Africa? Because the people traveled there. I told y'all the Nubians are from America. They traveled to this area. But let me show y'all some more about... um. The Horn of Africa. This is the Horn of Africa. This is the Horn of Africa. Nubians came up on a ship and came down through here and settled in right here. They they they, they are they are not originally from Africa. They come from somewhere else. Nubians are not from Africa, guys. They are Americans. They got the same hollow group, the goddamn old mix cat. But let's keep going. And then I'm going to prove to y'all, I'm going to prove to y'all what color they is. I'm going to prove to y'all what color people they is. Hold on. I'm going to prove to y'all what color people they is. This, these are the sand people. These are the sand people. They are Hoblo Group A. These people are Hoblo Group A. Now, do they look like a Native American to you? Do they look like a Native American to you? This is how, this is the original Hoblo Group A. I hate to say it. I don't want to say black people, but this is a melanated person right here. This is a melanated being. This is a Hoblo Group A in that same area. Everybody else in Africa, Hoblo Group L. This is A. This is A. This is A. Now let me show y'all something else. This is an ancient bloodline from Africa. This is an ancient bloodline from Africa called the Cold Sun people. They hop little group A. You see they wearing feathers, right? You see they wearing feathers, right? Feathers. People came from America and civilized the Horn of Africa, bro, right around the Nile River area. That's what really happened. These people have the same, the same blood types, the same everything, but they don't, they want to teach you these people are from Africa and these people are from America when they have the same blood types. The same blood types. And I showed y'all a is the oldest in the world. They try to act like we not A. They try to act like we L or E. But we are A. We are all of these on this side. But A is the oldest. A is the oldest. And the, and the, um, the old mix are the oldest. And the Nubians had the same blood type. And they and I just showed y'all, they, they say Hoblo Group A is from... Hoplo group. Well, yeah, you're right. I know it's Hoplo group. Damn, y'all gonna you wanna be an English teacher? <laughs> Hoplo group A is found in the Horn of Africa. That is Kushite area. That is Nubian area. Let me show you that again. Look, this is the Horn of Africa. Kushite. Kushite. Same Hoplo group. Same Hoblo group. The Corsan have Hoblo group L. No, they don't. <laughs> I think I got that. Let me let me see can I find that receipt. Let me see can I find that receipt. I might not, I might don't have that. 
Mike don't have that one. I'm going to have to go back and get that one for you, but the Sand people are one of the people with Hoblo Group A. Hoblo, I mean, Hoplo Group A, I'm sorry. Hoplo Group A for the English teachers in here. Sand people. These are the sand people. We know what kind of people they were, bro. It ain't even hard to figure out. Like, they be trying to act like these people Native Americans for entertainment purposes only, TikTok. But these are the people with, with, with A. It, it, it ain't even hard to figure out. Like, I don't even know why. Damn, I don't even know why people even act like it's hard to figure out that the old mix were melanated people. They were, they were melanated. Anybody got any questions? I just wanted to go through that and kind of show y'all the research I be doing to put different, you know, different type of blood types in different areas in the world because A don't even supposed to be there. A don't even supposed to be there. All the way A got there is because somebody traveled over there. That's the only reason. Africa is L. We all know that. We all know that Africa is L. A come from somewhere else. They act like A. They act like A is a part of Africa, but it's only found in one part of Africa. It's only found in this part of Africa. The, the Lower Nile River, that is the area of the Nubians, bro. That's Nubian area, bro. That's Kushite area. We know the truth now. I've been telling y'all. See, I've done the research on this so many times. That area is a different type of people from the rest of Africa, bro. These are the people who are farming and trading and, and, and things like that. These people came from somewhere else. You say A2 is Native American. A-O-A, -A -A, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they tell you everything is, bro. But ain't no way in the hell if if, if Hoplo Group A look like these people. Ain't no way in the hell. Ain't no way in the hell, bro. The but I'm going to do Q&A, man, because TikTok is watching the shit out of me for no reason, bro. I'm gonna do Q and A, man. Y'all, um, y'all, y'all put something in the comments because everything I do now on live, they try to knock my live down. I ain't even said nothing. I ain't said nothing. Damn TikTok, what did I? Yeah, they just flagged my live. I ain't said a damn thing. I'm just going out. I'm going out science. I'm telling y'all what different type of people in different areas got the same type of hoplo group. That's it. But anybody want to get up and ask some questions, hop in the guest. I'll put you up on the um, ask some questions. You can ask them in the comments. Because they knocked my live down earlier, bro. They took my live down earlier and they gave it back to me. Now they talking about we flagging you for 10 minutes. Can't nobody come in and live. And, Damn, bro. I ain't even said nothing. Do I need to go to YouTube, bro? God damn, bro. <laughs> Shit, I ain't said nothing. I said, I'm going to take it easy today. I ain't even going to go hard. I usually go hard. I ain't even going to go hard today. Because y'all already on me. Y'all watching the hell out of me. I ain't did nothing. They've been knocking people's lives down left and right, bro. It's crazy, man. Y'all roll the coin. Sure to laugh, man. Ask, put some questions in the comment. Must have, must have been reported. Have you taken a DNA test before? No. Why would I take a DNA test and I know my ancestors, bro? I don't take a foreign DNA test from people I don't know who tested my DNA. That's crazy. We don't do that where I'm from. We don't do that. Yeah, we know the truth now, man. Every time I... Every time I... Now... Now... When I get on here, I can't say, I can't do nothing. I'm talking about it got to be straight by the book. It goes straight by the book now. If I don't go by the book, they 
Hey, they tried to take my life indefinitely, bro. They tried to take it indefinitely. I'm like, for what? All I was talking about was um Tartarians. <laughs> Damn, what are y'all talking about, bro? They called it a hate speech. How is that? A, it's foolishness. I didn't say nothing wrong about no set of people. I'm just talking about facts. This ain't got nothing to do with nobody, you know. But anybody got any questions, bro, put them in the comments um, or jump in. The, oh, I got a get question, Big Baller. What up, bro? Man, I just had a question. How's it going, man? I'm doing um, pretty good. How you doing, bro? I'm doing all right, man. So, well, we're ready over here, you know, just inside, taking it easy. But anyway, so we 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 know we know the truth about the uh, uh, the old man, right? Yeah. Uh, then my my next thing is, you know, uh, Maya is an Inca. Uh, I I know I've been told that uh one one of them was the same and one of them was the colonizer. Uh, Imitating which one was, or do you believe that they were all the same people? Because I, I I had a conversation yesterday with some people about this. You talking about where they where they where they um where they like colonized at some point, or where they? they what you trying well, to say? So I was I, I've been doing research on jaguar warriors, and I've been reading accounts of these conquistadors, and you know that's a whole other rabbit hole. But basically, yeah. what I'm what I'm saying is the people attacking them were the so called Spaniards, right? Yeah, now, yeah. Now, now, they were gonna keep uh, the doors. You right? Yeah. So, what I'm trying to figure out is, is by the time they come, where they are, because from my understanding, South that South America, that was the that was the uh, last place colonized. That's that's the last place they got us out of. So I'm assuming we were still there during that time. No, um, North America, the last place to get colonized. They colonized South America first before North okay. America. Yeah, the Inca. The Incas, the Incas were colonized, bro. The Incas, the Incas had um, king kings from Europe as their as their leaders, bro. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The Spaniards took over Inca, um, took over the Incas um, tribe, and they became emperors over the Incas, and they weren't even indigenous. Like you, like you can go look at King. I think it's King George right. came from Europe and, and, and became a um a, um a chief over the Incas. But they but they were but they were they were they oh, were yeah, so basically after the, you know what I'm saying? They they were they were conquistadors or they were Moors. Right. So they yeah, took yeah. over the Incas. People don't know that. Now the Mayas, on the other yeah. hand, the Mayas originally were all indigenous. And then you know the Incas okay. come after the Mayans, so yeah, the Mayans start the, the first. The Mayans are the first people to start getting infiltrated by Spaniards. See what I'm saying? Right. That, that's that, that's what I thought it was. I was trying to clarify because uh, yeah, right. I, I I was trying to tell folks that the other day that it, 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 it's it's Olmec and Mayans basically the same people, but Incas that 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 those were the colonizers. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to explain. Old Mix was a little older than the Mayans. Right, right, but but the same. That's the same ancestors, though. That's the same original. The same ancestors, but that that didn't really go anywhere. You know, Old Mix didn't really get colonized. Some kind of way, man. See, this is the part of history that's messed up. See, this is the part that 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 throws our people off a lot. We don't know the exact years when they came and ran these people off the land. You see what I'm saying? And they, and they just they, about who came they first. Hurt, they killed a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. So I they mean, been I, I, Yeah. I, I, for me, it's it's more about the order operation, right? And what order did they go? Because that, because you know, someone like the timeline of the different tribes. The timeline, the timeline. That's just the timeline. Okay, this like, the timeline. Let me let me run it down to you real fast. Mound builders first. Alrighty. Mound builders I figured those was older. And then my research started to let me believe the mound builders are the original Egyptians, bro. That's what I've always be- that that's what that's what my original research brought me to, bro. Like, and, like and, I, I legitimately that's what I came to as well. The mound exactly. Egypt, bro. And then it started to get to like 
It started like the Grand Canyon area after the mound builders. See what I'm saying? Well, so go, but go, go. at the same time, you can't coincide. You can't go back and forth with it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the dates kind of messed up on the. No, they won't tell you nothing about the Grand Canyon. So you got to kind of put your own dates on it. Well, well, also, also, we got to also take it, take it as this. Are we sure that the dates they're telling us are the ages they are off the fact that we know their methods of dating things aren't that uh Somebody credible? Somebody probably dating. Yeah, bro, it's not that credible. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, my my best guess is that the, the mounds are older. You feel what I'm saying? That, that mound mound builders are older. The mound builders are older. Then it, then it goes... uh. Mayan, Olmec, and or whatever else. No, 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 no. Mayans ain't nowhere near old as oh, old, bro. I mean, uh, 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 Olmec, Mayans. That's what I meant to say. Well, I'm, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the Grand Canyon out of it because they won't, you know, they won't give us no dates on it at all. They, they don't, they don't even post it. Man, they don't. So let's, take that out, let's take <laughs> that out. The know about that. Yeah. Let's go mound builders. Then we go old mix. Yeah, then yeah, we yeah. go Mayans. Then we go Incas. Right, right, right. So Incas lands, Incas, Incas and Mayans were, 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 were you know, Spaniards start coming around in, in the middle of the Mayan um, era, and right. then Incas all damn near all was messed up with colonization. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, why but my, this guy was talking to me about the Incas and Amaru Khan, and you can't put the Incas with Amaru Khan because they're not indigenous enough. Right, they, right. They are a mixed tribe at that point. Right. My my whole thing is so the, my whole thing with Titaria, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe I believe that that didn't start till uh after things started getting colonized already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that was that was a that was a I, I think that was like a uh between uh sixteen, seventeen hundreds thing. Titaria? Yeah, yeah, cause we know eighteen hundreds It's I'm older between, than that, bro. I think but you think I I'm thinking I'm thinking 15, 17, are you thinking earlier? Because I, I, like, I know they probably wasn't building no more things after 1820. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because early 1800s is the time of the month was, of the last month was. I'm saying, so you're saying the buildings got built in the 1700s? I'm saying they got built between the, the, the about 15 to 14 and 1700s, yes. Oh, no, no. I think no, it's no, older no. than that. They older than that, bro. So, so, bro, so, bro, so, the buildings was here when Columbus pulled up, bro. I mean, hit me. He came in the 1492s. When he pulled okay, up, okay, right? Yeah, so it would be older than that, bro. It's older it's, than it. Yeah, because then, then the buildings of ancient Rome and Greece and stuff. <laughs> bro, I read, a, bro, I read a book, bro. I read a book. I read a book about the flood, bro. And it said it was a building in South America when the flood came. <laughs> Bro, you, 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 Real I mean, I was, buildings. I'm talking about not know. So when, when they rolled up in there, there there were there was eleven temples, what they call churches today, Mexico City, because yeah, uh, cathedrals, they, churches, they, temples, cathedrals, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it, it, been and, here, they, bro. and they used them uh to build the freaking shanties and huts that make up Mexico City. Basically, what they did, and they used the pyramid block. It's well documented. That's a fact. Yeah, but it it was buildings here long before the fourth the fifteen hundred, bro. I'm just long. trying to figure out when they they started building the things, man. That's my it, whole it, thing. See, that's bro. the thing. I could I could just speculate and give you a date, but I don't be like doing it because what's your, it, what's no, your speculation, man? Because because I have a speculation too. Man, my when, speculation. They speculate. We can speculate. Shit. <laughs> my speculation. My speculation is the buildings were here in BC times. See that's my my whole my whole thing too. I'm I'm thinking they were the start of uh. So what what did it go? The flood Egypt, did not miss Egypt, the pyramids. Egypt. The pyramids are made not the flood, y'all. Y'all got to know okay. that the pyramid made okay. not the flood. That's what that's what part of the pyramid building is about, not flooding. So did Let's Egypt ahead, get bro. conquered by Rome, or did Rome become Egypt or become a province? Rome like? Rome conquered the last part of uh, Egypt and Nubia. Right. So so so. I'm I'm really thinking that this is this is a late Egyptian period when they started building them things. Talking about the Egyptians? Yeah, like 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 late, like like, like not to like that their peak. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that was and, the peak. And then when when they got conquered, right? I'm thinking, you know, that. But also, you could have to you could have to say that most likely whoever had that 
that technology was obviously sharing it. So the only way you could conquer a civilization like sure. that is if you had something just as powerful, right? So I'm thinking that uh, as well as, you know, if we're, if we're going to say that they were a BC thing in uh, that time period, then the Romans, were, they definitely were already in contact. I'm thinking it's more of a cool shit. I think there was... You look, at, look, at, look at it like this, bro. If Giza was built in... Giza, they said Giza was built around what? 2500 BC? 3000 BC? Somewhere up in there? Give it take, give it take, yeah. If you can build that type of structure in 2500 BC, you could build a building in 2500 BC. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I, so you I, got, will, you I got will to just keep kind of like the basics because you got to look at the structures that was built around what time and what was what was possible to be done at that time, that period in history. So, if you see a 400 foot tall pyramid. We could build a cathedral. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, 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 at, but, at the, but at this, but at the same time, I'm inclined to believe the people that built the mountains were a few strokes behind them. Uh, Greco Roman architecture. Modeling see, you, see you're looking at it. You're looking at it wrong, bro. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just thinking they were a few steps behind. I'm thinking it didn't come till 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 uh, old times, bro. You understand about the, about, the, about the mound builders and the Egyptians. They are, see, the mound builders are way older than what you think they are. The first people to start building things with that ideology was the mound builders. They built it in the dirt. You see what I'm saying? You have yeah. to evolve to be up to on the level of a Nubian or Egyptian. You just don't pop out of nowhere and, and be that be that intellectually right um, on, on building structures. So, it started so with the mounds and the and the intelligence grew over time and then it got to egypt at the high point and that's when outsiders started trying to kill them and take the knowledge yeah, and, yeah, you yeah, see yeah. what i'm saying so so they moved around yeah yeah for sure over time i i, I i'm just i'm really like like I do know that that like I said, we had stuff built all over the world before anybody even showed up. So that being said, yeah, I I I, I really think that uh, I really think that uh, the invaders possibly didn't didn't show show their faces till I'm thinking late BCs, late late BCs. See, that's the part. That's the part that we don't know. And well, that, that's just my. That's just my. Because if you look at history, it was a lot of warring amongst the tribes. Now it's understandable that we would fight each other for what we had, right? Uh, see, see be no we weren't fighting each other, bro. I think we were. This but, the but, thing, but, but not in the this way people thing. think. This the I thing. Just, I just can't get. I don't think everyone would be cool with each other. I, I just. You're not understanding how this stuff works. This is how it worked, bro. We on the land by ourselves at one point of time, right? Right. We were trading with each other. We was at peace, right? I mean, so here, here's listen, my listen, thing. Listen, 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 listen. Why would we make armies if we were cool with everybody? We listen, had... bro. Listen, bro. You don't. They didn't have no armies. They had certain warriors that that protected the village. Old Meg heads ain't nothing but warriors, bro. I've even heard less. I've even heard they were ball. They didn't have a whole it. army. They probably had eight people, twelve people to protect the village. Those were the warriors. But when if you hear trading with your own people, and right. then people come across the Bering Strait, and they yeah. come into your area, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then now it's starting to be a problem because those are outsiders. Yeah. Now it's time to, you see, that now a war jump off between the people from Asia and the I people think, from indigenous to America. I now think you start putting together some type of small army because now you have a real threat on the land. Right. You know what I'm saying? See, I think the dates of the cliff, cliff dweller well, uh, would really shed some light on the dates of possibly when these invaders came. Because, uh, I really don't, cause, cause my whole thing is, do you think them people just came in w with the intent to invade, or the intent to out of curiosity, and then once they learned their stuff, they got jealous? 
You talking about like or, like people from um, Asia or or, 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 or I'm, Spain, talk, or, I'm talking or, about the people that came from the realm below. If you believe in that, they came from where? The realm below. So you know, you feel like the tree, how the tree work? Or do you, or do, do, do you subscribe to that? Talking about like another dimension or like another? What you talking about? Uh, have you have, have you seen the 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 level of realms? Like 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 the, uh, have you seen the diagram of that? I'm gonna have to yeah, get that yeah. and show you it because like. Yeah. The, the portals and the four corners and you know how that works right so i don't think this is what happened though you don't think that's what happened see bro we put too much fairy tale shit in the yeah movie. sometimes sometimes i i'd be having to people catch myself really came over here and warred with people already here bro <laughs> it ain't even hard to even people well, when people well, well, they, well, they my, just, they just well, say, my whole thing well, you a nomad. Thing. Let's say you a nomad from somewhere that ain't got no agriculture, right? You ain't got no right. agriculture. You don't have no type of government set up. You ain't got no type of structure with your people. And you come over here and you see people with gold and structure, and they got agriculture. They burying the dead. They you are you are jealous of these people because they are living the way you supposed to live on the earth at the time. Right. So but you know, here, people here, here's nomads moving around. They they ain't got you know they they lost. Here, and then my, you finally get you learn what's going on and then you go to war with the people. See what I'm saying? The same right. way they learn what's going on with our culture when they came over here with, with, with um Spaniards and conquistadors and Europeans and colonizers. They learn I, what's going on first, then they take over a area. You see what I'm saying? This what this right. is what happened in America. I have I have one problem with it because with me I I really have to look at the whole world and I I'm pretty confident in, in know what happened with the Americas but the the real thing is how is how, is how we were influenced it happened uh, everywhere it happened everywhere but so so my whole thing is this right we know that the civilization was, was worldwide right and we know what them people look like my whole thing is to get all these different races we have today I just don't believe we was only dealing with ourselves it has to they, either we're genetically modifying things ourselves etc which i believe we did not believe we got evidence of that or there was really some other people that we did not know existed that came around and i believe to be able to even get to a point to colonize us, of course we, if you read the emerald tablets there's knowledge and part of the untrustworthy individuals yeah. so who were those untrustworthy individuals because if they was us, I think I think you know what I'm saying is what it is. Uh, but but, see, we, but don't, see, we don't really know. Us, we don't really right? know what mold, we don't really know what melanated people did in Europe or Russia. I don't think they originally came, came from this realm. That's my whole thing. I don't think those original colonizers came from this realm because if they did, either they came from below. I, I feel like with us, we would if they were below the earth. And, and, and there's well, there's stories of us trading with people below the earth. That's a point. Yeah, that's, that's, a good that's, point. That's, that's a good that's point. That's a good point. Of us trading with people in grounds and through portals, like, not really even portals, just tunnels. In the people that live in the ground. So my whole thing is, if we know there's a race that lives there and they rely on the service people for survival and sustenance, right? And then eventually, when they're able to come to the top, we like, all right, bro, we are gonna help you out. But then people have been that's uh, underneath point. forever. So of course, when they come to the surface, they're gonna want to know things. We're gonna Apart that knowledge, underworld, other realm, you can. Yeah, I, I think people are mixing up the two. I, 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 know, think, like, I think, like I I think it's closer related. Like than I it always is. say, I believe everybody. I believe everybody comes from the earth, but people, but, but, but people. Well, I'm saying all the all the old bloodlines come from the earth, but the thing is, the original bloodline been here so long, it had to have something to do with the original bloodline. I think it's also important to point out that people were about eight, ten feet tall before the eighteen hundreds. You know, I, I've been finding a lot more pictures of those giants. Man, <laughs> they were, it was man, it was well, listen, else, bro. Bro. giants. This this bullshit knowledge, bro. You think that's bull? That's, that's BS. I think. Yeah, I think man. See, I, I just because look, look, bro. I if, just if talked animals about bigger, just why wouldn't we, that, bro? They be trying to they be trying to make all giants intellectual. It's a difference between a tall giant. I, I don't <laughs> believe all giants were intellectual because because if, if they were, they wouldn't have gotten wiped out by by Tartaria. I believe that 
I did, this, you, you see this as human nature. Bro, you going all off. You see, you going off the page and what I, what I, what I, what I, 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 I'm not what going too off the page here. You just hear me out for a second. Yeah. Just a second. So, for, uh, so, as a human nature, it's just simple. When, when, when we get powerful, we get comfortable. We get super comfortable. So, you got to think, if you really got a race that's that powerful and they don't feel like nobody challenging them, theoretically, it's pretty easy bro, to listen, take them bro. down if they really not thinking anybody <laughs> can do nothing. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. have a plan. Let me tell you something about North America that people don't, that people be forgetting. It was so much peace over here that you didn't worry about no violence or no 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 army or no see what i'm saying these were i never said it was violence over but here it, i'm saying that's not what i'm saying i'm you not you gotta li- you gotta listen sometime bro just listen to me well then over time if you don't if you don't have a, a civilization that uh, experience any type of violence or any type of genocide or any type of people taking them from you you become a a a, a great person you don't believe in it because you have never saw it. You see what I'm saying? Or you become soft. So when when people come from other places and we believe that these people are good as if we are good because we live right. like this so long, we have never saw nobody stab nobody in the back. We ain't never saw nobody take nothing. You see what I'm saying? Right, we and do the, agree. That, that, that gives you, that gives you, it makes you a victim because you are not equipped in the mental side to be a, a fighter like it because you never had right. to fight like it. These right. are no, these people are studying the stars, bro. They're not studying about. They're not thinking about no, no, no batting. They vulnerable. You see what I'm saying? And that, they're not, and, they're and not they're thinking about enlightening, enlightening themselves. They're not thinking about we got to go fight against Rome or we got to go fight against back in those times so right. when those people come it's easy to take these people over or hurt these people because they are not equipped they had never experienced you know savages like this you see what i'm saying they called us yeah. the savages, but we they we want the savages see this i'm gonna tell you but I, I mean it's for those reasons why listen, I believe no, they came no. for this i'm gonna tell you something i learned i'm gonna tell you something i learned when i was in the street bro a wise yeah. man told me this he said, you could be smart as you want in the street, bro. But when the bullets start flying, Jeez. intelligence can't do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it don't matter then. You could be the big brain, the smartest. If that man in the room with you and he's shooting, That's- intelligence can't do nothing. You see what I'm saying? So if somebody pull up on intelligent beings and they on some barbarian shit, they can actually take that knowledge because they they are putting their hands on people now you see what i'm saying that that's really what i was trying to say too about about how america got took over bro even 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 down to the 1400s the regular melanated indians were still peaceful people all the way to the end bro and they still got took over by barbarian type cultures because when the bullets start flying (laughs) The knowledge is out the window. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. You 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 just you just painted that picture perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I appreciate you, man. We know the truth now. Yeah, yeah. I got some. I got a couple more people, bro. <laughs> you right though. Let me let this guy here up. Chris, what up? Give me two or three questions, bro. If you if you're still available. But yeah, man, people gotta start understanding, bro. If 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 you lived in peace for thousands of years and, and these people come with some left hand stuff, you don't see it coming. You don't see it coming. You just you think everybody is an intellectual being like your people. But that's why empires get taken down. Now we didn't get soft, big baller. We didn't get soft. It's just like I say, bro. Something happening to you made you hard. You see what I'm saying? You weren't born hard. You weren't born, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, yeah, you know, docile, but still. People always say, how these people are so smart that they get get taken over? Because you're not looking for the barbarian side of people. You think everybody gonna, you know, you think everybody gonna do that, bro, but it's not like that. It's not like that. 
these people were civilized people. Boulay tricked our folks. But you know, the Boulay is all down the line, bro. Like, I believe people came here way before 1492 and done, and done things to civilizations. I believe that myself. They say the flood did it all, but I don't believe it. I saw a lot of documentation that say people get people, Europe, I mean, colonizers came here a long way before 1492. So, and I'm working on, I'm working on something like that. You say the Gatling gun changed our ancestors. A regular pistol changed the ancestors. These people got bow and arrows, bro. Gunpowder was made over there in um Asia. Asia and, and China. And gunpowder went over here. Then the Romans got it from them people. And they created all these type of guns and projectile shooting. That came from over there. That they, they, they didn't have. They weren't even in our history in, in America. So we didn't have none of that. That's that's a plus right there. And then on top of that, and then on top of that, we were not looking for that type of problem. You know what I'm saying? Male and Dogon is the Anunnaki. The Assyrians are the Anunnaki, Utkas. The Assyrians, the Babylonians, and the Akkadians created the, created the Anunnaki, not the Dogon. Come on, bro. You got to know that. <laughs> yeah, they use it against us for sure. Yeah, 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 they use the guns against us. Yes, sir. That's that's part of that's part of them winning. That's part of them winning. Yeah, you're right. They were they were they were conscious people. They weren't even on that barbarian BS. They was on some learn the stars, you know, learn how to build structures. Teach the languages. Cause they had languages here. They be lying like we ain't had no languages. But we had we had hieroglyphics, cuneiform, Hebrew, everything was over here. They can they can kill all that. The fallen angels taught men how to make war and weapon war. Huh, you got a point. You got a point. But I think, I think, I think more. See, me personally. I put more stuff, I put more shit on human beings. I don't put, when I can't figure something out, I just don't say the fallen angels did it because that's, 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 that's copping out of doing the research. I know, I studied that Genghis Khan and them created gunpowder. There wasn't no goddamn fallen star, no fallen angels. <laughs> there were real people created gunpowder and blew your ass up. So, there wasn't no that's so that that gunpowder is really the whole war all in itself back in them days. You see what I'm saying? You create gunpowder and ain't nothing and ain't no gun shooting. You you damn near run the world. You the only people with the gunpowder. You got to start putting more on human civilization. We can't just blame everything on aliens and fallen angels and shit coming through the dimension. That's that's not doing the research. You got the research harder than it. That's copied out. That's like saying aliens built the pyramids, and we know aliens didn't build the pyramids, bro. Come on, man. Ancient ain't ancient aliens. Stop it, man. Ancient melanated people built that motherfucker. <laughs> that's who built it. We got to start giving our our own kind some more more of the um. The pat on the back for building this type of stuff, bro. All that alien shit is overrated. Is 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 bro. Just because technology was ahead of its time, don't mean that it was made by aliens, bro. It don't mean it. Y'all see all these buildings, floats floating around in, in these Tartarian videos and shit. People made that, bro. There wasn't no aliens. Yeah, the Chinese or the Asians, somebody invented gunpowder over there. But that's you know what I'm saying. Human beings, all I'm saying is human beings invented gunpowder. That is a war tool, bro. Now, if somebody don't know that, they'll say the fallen angels came down with, with, with gunpowder. <laughs> I, I tend to see people do that a lot, bro. But 
that's not enough information, man. You gotta get you gotta get deeper than that. Let me let somebody else up. 360 podcast. What's up, bro? Yeah, we gotta get deeper than that. We just can't we just can't let you know, we just can't blame everything on fallen angels, bro. What's up, bro? Can you hear me? Hey, how you doing? Now, I just I was just agreeing with you about how they changed history with gunpowder and guns. And if somebody coming at you aggressive like that, you're not expecting that. You're looking from the spiritual standpoint. Yeah, you'll start calling on Allah, Buddha and everybody else. They tell you to call on if they got the upper hand. Exactly. Exactly. And, it, and that's and that's what I wanted to say, bro. And we all know North American uh, indigenous Indians did not have no gunpowder, bro. We know that. Right, right. And I just want to tell you, man, keep doing what you're doing. You're a master teaching this. I know the ancestor with you because the information and research you do, you can't do that on your own cognizance and on your own will. That's that's the ancestors with you. TikTok know it because they know what energy we're dealing with as we approach April the 8th, bro. So you know what time it is. Yeah, exactly right, bro. Some sometimes, bro, when I be when I be researching, bro. You could, I could feel it. You know what I'm saying? I just could feel the download. And it'd be like, look, read that. It lead me to what I need to know to put the pieces together at this point. And, it, and sometimes it feels kind of supernatural, bro. So you're right. You're exactly right, man. It's crazy. That's that Southern preaching that's in you, bro. That's that's yeah, that's I'm that. From, I'm from Mississippi, bro. Yeah, I'm that, yeah. I'm from Louisiana. So I, I know the connection, bro. We right next door to each other. And that's just right. that ancestors in you. This better than church, bro. The, the stuff you dropping, man, that, that's the spirit with you, man. This 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 church we having, bro. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> and that's all I wanted to do, man. I want to get back to you talking, bro. I'm finna get off here. <laughs> all love, bro. I appreciate your support too, bro. Yes, sir. I, I see you. I be seeing you all the time. I see you all the time. I'm working. I'm right behind you. Already. But yeah, y'all. Anybody else want to get up, hop in the um in the um the guest list, and uh or ask the question in the um in the comments. But like I say, like it's a lot of things that like I be want to talk about it, but I can't prove it. I'm the type of person that I don't want to just blur out a lot of shit because if I can't prove it, we I'm wa I'm, I'm, I'm wasting y'all time. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of stuff I keep to myself until I get through doing the research on it. And um you know, on that on that end, but I don't like to just shoot out information like that that I can't prove or show y'all no receipts for it, bro. Right, a right. Of, a lot of people do that, which is cool, but I don't like to do that because it it it, it blocks the learning process from what we already know. I don't want to throw nothing else in there and it ain't proven or I can't prove it, and you know, so I try to stick to the stick to the artifacts and the facts, man. Man, you're a true old Mac. When it comes to this old Mac history, bro, look, I, I I got two degrees, went to Wiley College, HBCU, and Grambling, and nobody has ever put it down the way you doing it, bro. That's how I know you anointed, man. You one of those people, bro. I appreciate it, bro. I went to Jackson State myself, man. I'm HBCU myself, bro. All right, all right. University. Yeah, man. Um, I'm, I'm going to tell you something funny about the old Mac. They keep trying to act like the Hoblo group is is a Native American Hoblo group, but every time I put up that Hoblo group around the world, it's melanated people. It they they that lets me know they land about the the Hoblo groups and the blood types and it's crazy, bro. Right, right. And and man, you are you you are, you a genealogist, you a geneticist, man. <laughs> bro, you gotta do it all at this point man, man. you all of that bro and i'm with you when you get ready to go to that smithsonian i've never been to a, a march on washington none of that crazy shit. but when you go to that museum that's the yeah, places we gotta go where they got the artifacts the relics and the true information man they the libraries in the museums are what you protest bro it ain't the capital that's they shit. is that you go to the capital last <laughs> see the, the Smithsonian, if we get the right information, we can prove who we are. See right. What I'm saying? Right. And with solid information, you can't you can't really even get it our way after we get solid information. You got to bow down to us at that point. You got to tell you got to do what because you on our land at that point. See what I'm saying? Right. Man, my home the, the law of the land trumps the corporation every time. So that's why 
I always say the Smithsonian because if we can prove your bloodline match a mound builder or ancient Americans or it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah, my partner, my partner told me like 20 years ago, you know, he a more and know he yeah. got his indigenous status. He was saying that he an old Mac and I thought he was crazy. But then he showed me pictures and I look at him with his big head. So I'm like, bro, damn. Now I look back and I called another day like, hey, bro, I apologize, bro. You know, like it's so real. He was on this 20 years ago. He a more or he like a MU you are? He, he a. No, he, he up under the, the Morris status, uh, Morris under, Science uh, Temple, you know what I'm saying? It, it, yeah, lack of, lack of information and, and understanding when he first joined, but as he grew, he don't represent that. He Omega and all that, bro. He he on yeah. something else now, but he, he used it to his advantage because he been through the system. But well, I ain't gonna lie, though. It's a lot of information come through the Morris Science Temple. It's a lot of information come through them. The Washita, like like um the lady who um tried to get the land back in Louisiana and stuff like that, Oh, Monroe. I can't think of her name, but it's the Washington. Right. But those people done a lot. They done a lot, bro. They put a lot of information out. They um they 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 bring a lot of stuff together that I couldn't figure out myself, but they they, they come with the more the Moorish stuff back in like the you know 70s, 80s. But I understand it. I understand it. They were just trying to learn what was going on. They want enough information out at the time, so they just were learning from what it was teaching them. And I and I understand it. And I, it right. See, I'm right here in Morehouse Parish. I'm sure how ironic where I'm at. I'm in Morehouse Parish, right next door to Washita Parish. <laughs> you dig know what I'm saying? So that's how that's how that's how you got my chakra spinning, bro. Exactly. You know, it was an eighty foot tall pyramid mound in uh in Washington Parish that they tore down. Man, it's one it's one eight miles from my house. <laughs> they knocked it down to three feet tall, bro. Right, right. Oh, that's how I know that it was and, and then like I said, I always talk about Baton Rouge got the mounds, it's um eleven thousand years old. This people how long people been in down there bro exactly i'm saying them years in egypt ain't number 5500 years old bro and you got miles in louisiana eleven thousand years old that is amazing that is twice as old as egypt but people don't understand it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now builders were here first bro right and, and you know it's crazy that we find in these mounds like right here in Mohouse Parish and our teachers that taught us Louisiana history don't even know this. So I go see them in stores and stuff like, why you didn't teach us, baby? I didn't know. And that's crazy. <laughs> they hit it real good back then, bro. They hit it real good back then. And then, like I say, it was the internet age kind of changed stuff. Because people start getting that information, putting it up on the internet. Because I was looking at some old mounds in uh, Pennsylvania that the man had passed away in like 2002, bro. But he put it on the internet, you see what I'm saying? Right. And it still was there. So the internet age, it ain't no reason why, you know, you got you got to research, but once it hit the internet, it's there. You can find it unless they just literally just go try to snatch it down like they've been doing lately, but you know how that go. And, and, and you know, bro, that's all part of the plan. It, you know, they invent Frankenstein. The Frankenstein has always come back to bite them in the behind. And, and now that this information that you drop in and several others that I follow, bro, it's, it's astronomical. And these people know if that right algorithm or that right energy connect, this thing going to blow up. Gonna it's blow over. It's going to blow up. Because lately, lately, bro, I've been getting watched. Like, I'm talking about, <laughs> I don't know what been going on the last couple of weeks, bro. I can't say nothing. I can't, my YouTube be getting hit, Instagram, TikTok. It's like they own all the pages. Just... You know, but I, I'm like I can't do nothing. Keep going, bro. I'm too, I'm too, I'm too. Um, you know, I'm empowered by it at this point because I want people to know the truth, and I still want to put together the, you know, the, the movement on the Smithsonian. So uh, it is, it's, it's, it's just up from here. Ain't nothing else you can do. See, bro, when you're doing some. See, this not work or job to you. This love. No, when you doing no. something that you love, that's a career. You a, you a you got a career in this. God anointed you to do this. A job would have been a distraction to you. Ain't no way in the hell you can do that. You, <laughs> yeah, my, you, mind you, you paint. my mind works too many different ways at this point, bro. Exactly, exactly. Once you, once you consume so much so, so much information, bro, your mind automatically reject 
certain things. <laughs> and it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, exactly. like, I can't, like when people get to talking about, cause see, see, at this point, at this point, I hate to say this, bro, but it's this, this the truth. This just, this just me personally, nobody else. When I hear Indian, I get annoyed now because I'm looking at the research and it go back so far that it's before even Indian tribes. You see what I'm saying? Right. And 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 I don't, you know, say I don't fault nobody for you know to do the Indian thing, but because like I say, my great grandmother was a Choctaw. But at the same time, when you know when you when the, when the knowledge gets a little deeper, you are like, damn, we ain't even no Indians, bro. We it's like we just been here so long, we just I don't even know what to call us at this point. You know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> like, right. You know. From following you, collective consciousness and Earth Speaks, I ran across, it was a time where Indian was classified as slaves. That classified you as a slave, the term Indian, you know? And we had just had to be mindful of the things that we jump on ships and different things. That's how we end up in this damn situation now. We don't do no research. The Bible says, search the spirits out and see if they are a God or not. Exactly, exactly. See, Indian likes scratching the surface at this point. We know we know it to eat. See, we 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 on the we on the knowledge the world when they pulled up, what were we? You see what I'm saying? Right. But we can't always put our the way we what we call ourselves on what happened to us. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because if they came in 1492, that's cool. That's the history we start to learn about because that's the history they start teaching it. Exactly. But we got to go back farther than it. Right. I'm seeing I'm seeing artifacts with dinosaurs, artifacts from um million year old carbon dated artifacts. I'm seeing mound builders build artifacts with dinosaurs. It's just it just go back too far to the point to where I'm like, damn, we we just indigenous at this point. We don't we don't we ain't no Indian, we ain't we ain't no Egyptians, we ain't no mound builders, we just <laughs> We just indigenous at this point, all the way around, like back to the dirt. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want people to, I don't want people to not think about the Indian part of it because that's a part of it. That's a part mm -hmm. of the culture at the end of it. But I want people to think like, I've been here so long that you can't even play with me talking about no Indian shit that went on in the 1500s. You know what right, I'm right. <laughs> We've been here thousands and 10,000, 100,000 years. Exactly. So, at least look at it with a broad, you know, a broad look at it and don't just classify yourself as a, just an Indian. You you could be the most ancient bloodline on the face of the earth from America. Right. Don't, I don't want you to, I don't want my people to dumb themselves down. That's right. what I'm saying. And, and, and you know, you start history at 1492 and what we don't understand is that a lot of those dates have, they congruent, they run together, they mixed up and, and it just happened this morning when you think it happened 200 years ago, they just did these laws yesterday. Exactly. You know, the Trail of Tears, that's not no 1800 something, man. that was the great migration from the, from the South to the North, the same pattern. The same map, the same route, the same premise, the Trail of Tears, that's us on that route. How did the Native Americans on the reservation go to Oklahoma and they living in tents and trailer parks and we build cities? That's why I always teach people about Tulsa, Oklahoma, the Black Wall Street. That's the only way they can learn about the Trail of Tears. Mm -hmm. how, did all, how did all those middle native people get to that area? Right. There wasn't nobody in that area, bro. Right. And so they put us there. Right. Then, then we still thrived and made Black Wall Street. Come on, somebody. Because I'm gonna I'm tell you a video I was trying to do, bro. It was so it was so smart, but I can tell you how, they, how, how, how deep these people is in the government, bro. They won't even show you the population of Oklahoma before the Trail of Tears, bro. That's how that's how I know somebody sat down and put this shit together. <laughs> <laughs> to not so you say like somebody gonna think of it somebody gonna think of it because i'm looking at the population if i let's let just say just, just just regular thinking if if i find the year of the trail of tears and i go back the year before and look at the population and it ain't no black people there you see what i'm saying right then i come back the year of trail of tears and it's forty thousand black people there the next year Boys don't make it look funny. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. So every year before, 
they would not they don't have no population on Oklahoma at all, bro. And it's crazy. Right, right. They don't got no numbers. Exactly. I was just looking at another uh a uh, uh, creator, content creator that had the numbers up there about the great migration, how many people went like 1,500 was in one one place, uh, I think uh, up there around Baltimore at one time, just 1,500 people before we start moving up there. But they told us Chicago and those big cities was the promised land. So we migrated with this promise, but they were relocating us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They want, brother, Southeast is the most plentiful giving land on the face of the earth, bro. They get us to leave. They got us to leave mud in them and pop out them stuff. Now they got it, and, and now they not even growing nothing on it. All of it's artificial, and we up in the bricks. We up in the bricks, and we left the sticks. Exactly. They want you to get out to natural, the natural um, areas, so they can get it. But what people don't understand is why I be trying to teach people, bro. The Europeans made so much money off tobacco and cotton, bro. It is crazy, man. And they still, where do you think Vanderbilt got their money from? Vanderbilt mm. and, and, and Rockefeller and them. And they got a lot of money from the land, from farming. People right. don't know this. Right. They bought a lot, like Rockefeller owned land in Georgia, um, Florida, all that growing land on the Atlantic coast. He owned all of it. He even bought the island, Jekyll Island. You see what I'm saying? So he knew, they knew how much their land was worth because they was taking the crops from the southeast in the Atlantic, back over there selling them. They like, damn, we just made a million dollars off tobacco. Oh, we need that land for sure. We need it for sure. So, right. You know, tell you to run your ass up to DC if they can take the Virginia <laughs> tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all a, it's all a mind game, but they know what they was doing. They right. Just starting to figure out what they were doing. They right. wanted their land, bro. They wanted the Atlantic coast. In the southeast, bad. Right. And, and you know, I was just listening to my boy Earth Speaks. Uh, he on the topic now about resources, right? Yeah. And he broke it down about resources. You know, they got us thinking gold and all this stuff of resources. You can't eat that stuff. You can't eat that. I've been preaching it from the dough. Agriculture, bro. Right. You can't eat no gold and you're going to fall out and die, bro. <laughs> no way around. <laughs> go eat some gold you want to. Your ass is over with. No, nah, let me go. Get you some corn and some squash and some water and some beans. Oh, they done switched the corn. They done switched the corn out with cobalt. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You can't eat that shit. Shawty can't eat no cobalt. You see what I'm saying? Right. He right. He right. Earth speaks be right. He be right on point. He, 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 he believe in the same thing I believe in. Agriculture is the way, bro. And right. they, they just say they hit, they hit, they hit, they hit, they hit United States with an atom bomb right now. We can't do nothing with no gold and silver, bro. No, sir. You better be, find some land that you could dig up and grow something on. You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm And get back, get a civilization back going with some fresh water, because other than that, it's not going to happen. Right. It's not going to happen, bro. Right, but bro, I want I, I want you to let somebody else jump in here, man, because I, I just love hearing you speak. You know, we gonna chop it up. You see, I'm following you. Hell, everything I do, we know the truth. Already, bro, we know the truth now. <laughs> and, and that name alone gonna get you flagged, dog, because they want to know what you know. Yeah, man, they already know. YouTube already on it, bro. I ain't even got nowhere on YouTube yet. They already on top of it. And that's crazy. I just joined a YouTube page the other day, and it's it's rolling. And they already messing with you, dog. That's crazy as hell. Yep. It's starting to roll, but they already flagging the pay for it even get started. And, and that's and that's crazy to me because I ain't even really putting nothing on them. But but bro, before I get off here, man, I want to interview you on my podcast, man, on my on my segment called We the People. I want you to come help us out over here in Scrap City, Louisiana, bro, because we real whenever interested. You, we got some ready, conscious people. Whenever you ready, shoot me the DM. I got you, bro. I got you. Already, man. I'm, I'm gonna get out of here, bro. I snuck in. Uh, I seen the notification come in. I snuck in and, and tried to get in and get a little lesson in. And I'm gonna get out of here, bro. And uh, man, you stay up, bro, and don't let the enemy try to discourage you. Exactly, bro. Yeah, let me know whenever you're ready for the interview. I got you, bro. No problem. I'm, I'm gonna drop it in there. All right. Peace. All right. Anybody wanna hop? Anybody else wanna hop up? Or anybody else got any questions in the comments? Rich K, I appreciate the follow. Ebony T, what's up? Oh, the Dean, what's up? Appreciate the like, man. Amp, appreciate the follow. Appreciate the follow. 
Niji, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to get the YouTube going, man, because I'm getting flagged on TikTok too much now, bro. It's it's it's, it's really getting on my fucking nerves. <laughs> and I don't even be going hard like I used to go hard. I be trying to dumb the live down. And I hate to dumb the live down because people don't be, you know, people learn when I turn up on the live. So, and I dumb it down and slow the knowledge down. And it's, it's, it's crazy, man. But you got to do what you got to do, man. Monte, appreciate the follow. But any questions, y'all? Any questions on the, um, y'all, y'all go on my page and subscribe to my YouTube. Go to my, my, my page on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube. Or subscribe to the lives. Peace, peace, Monte. Any, anybody want to get up on the guest side or anybody want to ask any questions in the um, comments? I don't want to just talk about no random stuff. I might say something crazy today. I'm going to let TikTok let me make it today. I'm, I'm going to wait till the mod to go hard. <laughs> Shit, because they, they own me today. They had took my whole live earlier today. They said I couldn't even get back on live. And I appealed it, and they, and they, you know, they let me back on there. How do Moors connect to America? That's a good question, Nija. It's, it's like this, bro. It's like this. The Moors have been running around Rome, Greece, Africa, the Middle East, everywhere. Moors culture is old. It's, it's not ancient old, but it's old enough to where it's a different civilization from here. Is, 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 is European, is African, is, is, is Middle East. See what I'm saying? So they are the people who came up with laws, who came up with land, taking land and laws and, and, and you know, putting, you know, stuff like that. So they bought, they taught Europe colonizers how to do all of it before they came here. You see what I'm saying? So Moors taught enslaving type ideology before they came to america that's why i in researching i know who taught the colonizer how to do all the stuff they do to america today they taught them that that's why when you see a old a old moor back in the day he know all the laws he know all the ways to get out the law because he his people created the law he know how to fight the law, the government because he know how to claim sovereign. He know how to do all it because he was doing that shit in Europe before he got here. His people created the law. So he know how to work the loopholes of the laws of America because the laws of America are really Moorish laws. All this tax your land, get a car tag. You live in this county. You live in this state. That's all Moorish stuff, bro. It's all more stuff. Okay, let me give you an example. Toledo, Ohio. Toledo, Ohio. Toledo is in Spain. The real Toledo in Spain. And, it's, and, it, and it is the, um, the focal point of the Moorish people. They changed the name of Toledo in Ohio, I mean, Ohio City to Toledo. Just like the one over there on, in, in Africa. See what I'm saying? <laughs> well, in Spain. But that's where that name came from. Toledo came from the stronghold of the Moors in fucking Spain. Why is Toledo, Ohio named after the same place? Because that's where they set up shop it. They made that name. York, York, who was with Lewis and Clark, was a Moor. That's why he got statues in Kentucky and all this type of shit. When y'all know a black man and get a statue in Kentucky, it ain't gonna happen. Moors got kicked out of Spain and where they come and where they brought the colonizers to. Here. And they put the same old Moorish game down that they used to put on the ancient Europe and old Greek and Greece, Greeks and, and Romans, and they bring that shit right over here with the old ass money system. 
and done the same thing over here. We are the last people to get colonized by Moorish ideology, by Freemasonry, by things like that. But the ancient symbols come from here because Moors, ancient Moors, who came from Europe, they weren't from here, came over here and learned a lot of shit and took it back over there. You see what I'm saying? That's how they got all these symbols for these religions and they took it back over there a long time ago, but it came from here. They come from, Af Moore's ideology come from Africa, bro. No, they don't come from here. No, that's North African, um, North African, European ideology. It started over there. That is a, that is a Muslim, that is a Muslim, Mo original Moors are Muslims, bro. You already know Americans want no Muslims till they bring that over here. You already know that. See, that's the thing. Conquistadors and Spaniards were Moors. All the motherfuckers were Moors. It was black Moors and it was white Moors. <laughs> it was black Moors. Let me show y'all something, bro. All right, let me, let me show you something, DJ. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Now, this is going to be powerful. This powerful information right here. I hope I can find it. Let me show you. I'm just going to give you a great example. Here we go, right here. This is a great example, bro. This is a, this is a, it's artwork from 1676 in New England. In New England. I keep receipts just around just for the truth. This is an American Indian. This is a European Moor. You see the difference? That's why George Washington, that's why George Washington called everybody a Moor because he is his ancestors. He from England. He is a European. Europeans call everybody of dark skin. The term Moor was applied to everybody of what? Dark skin. Look, now look at this. Even black Indians of the Western Hemisphere, which are these people, Americans, were also dubbed with the title of being a Moor, and they, but they were not Moors. That is, Europe, the Europeans call everybody with skin like this a Moor. It don't matter where you were from. You could be from Europe, Africa, or America. They calling you a what? More. That's where y'all got confused it. Now you think everybody or more. Everybody ain't no fucking more. <laughs> Excuse me, TikTok. I'm sorry. Shit. That's what happened, Niji. Let's go back to the light for me. I got a little juice on my phone. But yeah, man. That's what happened. And then on top of that, it's telling you. There were black Indians in the Western Hemisphere right here, bro. Look. The native races of New England were spoken of indefinitely as Indians. Then they start calling them Moors. So when you see, so when you see George Washington come with the, we gonna switch the sandals out and we gonna switch the um the turbans out. And we ain't nobody going to know who the Moors is. And he don't care where you from. You are a Moor if you have dark skin. He don't care where you from. He don't. He not here to teach you where you from. He not here to teach you your history. He here to take the land and get over on all y'all melanated people. He don't care. So when people use quotes like George Washington quotes, they got to understand his ideology of calling everybody a Moor. That is a derogatory term called calling these people that in Europe. That ain't got nothing to do with these people. But when they, but since they came from there to here, they called everybody the same word. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they want to mix us and confuse us and take the sandals, take the turbans, take the feathers. Just, just make all of them look the same. All of them moors. We don't care. That's what they do to confuse you. We still confused fucking 500 years later. <laughs> <laughs> this
This was in 1670 something. We still confused 500 years later. We still, we Moors. You not no more, bro. And, and M U U R is 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 people of Lemuria. So that's the that's Mu is is for the original people of the earth. M U U R and M O O R are two different things. Yeah, safe to say they took American Indians over there. Yeah, Niger, they took them over there. See, before they came with the so-called African slave trade, there was an Indian slave trade first that took Indians from North America to the islands, Indians all the way back to Europe. They took Indians to the fucking king and queen of Europe, bro. Way from over here, way over there, bro. They took some to Spain. They took some to Brit. They took us from here first back over there to show their kings what kind of people was on the land, bro. For real. So all that African slave trade stuff is is way, if it did go on like they said it went on, which I don't think it did, they took us over there first. We know the truth now. Yeah, you seen the picture where they um Columbus took the, the the melanated Indians back over there talking to the um to the king and queen. That's a re that really happened, bro. They had pineapples. They had pineapples from America. They had cotton, all type of shit, tobacco, and Indians. He's showing them what he found over there. Birds. They had birds too. You're right, X6. Appreciate that. You're right. They had parrots, exotic American birds, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. So that's what's up with Moors, man. Moors are, 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 I hate to say this, but they are part of the problem of what happened to America. Yeah, I got a picture of that too, Lou. I, it's, it's so deep in my, I can't find it right now, but I got a picture of that too. That was an old, old painting, I think, from the what? 1700s? Yep. Any more questions? Put them in the um. Put put the questions in the in the comments or or get in the um the guest box and we'll chop it up. But yeah, man, we got to know this type of stuff, bro. These are two different types of people. Just cause they look alike, don't mean they are the same culture. Don't mean they are the same belief system. These people was at war and famine and all type of stuff going on over there, bro. These people are living in peace, eating out the river. See what I'm saying? These two different type of people. These people saw war. These people ain't never saw no war. These people know how to take land. These people don't know how to do that because they always shared the land. You see what I'm saying? So it's two different types of people. You can't say a, a um, you can't say a YT man from Europe is the same as a YT man from Canada. You just can't say that. Just because both of them YT don't mean they the same people. They got belief, belief, different belief systems, different upbringings, different backgrounds. Some are nicer than others. Some ain't trying to bust you upside the head. <laughs> Some trying to bring you, teach you. These people try to teach you how to live on the land, bro. But these people want to take the land because that's what they come from. We got to know that, man. We got to know that. And I understand, like, back in the day when they were talking about the Morris Science Temple, because you got to learn. It's th they hid everything so bad. It still took time for our people to learn what this stuff really is, bro. So I can't fault Noble Drew Ali or Dr. York. I can't fault them because they just was going off. At least they were trying to put the information out for what they had at the time. You see what I'm saying? So I respect their work. I respect their work. Just got to go off what you have at the time, bro. That's all you can do. You can't can't fault nobody for not knowing. At least they was trying. You know what I'm saying? Because some motherfuckers weren't trying to do nothing. <laughs> so you got to respect the trying, man, 
instead of the the, the, the the dying man. You feel what I'm saying? Respect the man who trying, bro. So I don't try to, a lot of people try to shoot down. A lot of people try to shoot down other people, other people's learning and teaching, but they teaching, this man was teaching in the 80s, the 70s, the 90s. It's, it wasn't no computer fast enough to tell you the information, bro. See, now I can hop on a computer, learn some, link it up to what, like, 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 no, no problem, Nija, bro. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate the support, bro. Like, like right now, when I was learning about King Sedapri, who looked like Buddha, who supposedly got the statue in the Grand Canyon, I learned about Vishnu. See what I'm saying? Other people have went through this cycle of thinking where they're like, damn, King Sedapri looks just like Buddha, which is Vishnu. You know what I'm saying? All this shit coming together because other people have brainstormed about this and put it out here in the world. And then I run across it again after I brainstorm about it and I start putting the pieces together. You couldn't do that in the 90s, bro. Computer too slow. You, you, we poor as hell in the hood in the 80s and 90s. We ain't even got no computer. <laughs> we ain't got no smartphone. We got a Nokia. That motherfucker can't do nothing but call somebody, bro. So critical thinking today, you can act on it faster. You see what I'm saying? Critical thinking back then, you got to buy books. You got to go to the library. You got to. Critical thinking now, I can hop on my laptop. Oh, this the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So you can't fault teachers from the old days for what they didn't know or what they couldn't find because you can hide, you can hide shit in books. But sometimes people get the critical thinking and put that information you looking at in a like like the Mound Builders books. Bro, them books is a thousand dollars, bro. Y'all think the Mound Builders book cheap? Them books $12.99, bro. But some smart ass, genius ass YT boy put the whole book on the internet. I download the whole book. <laughs> Let me get that. Boom, print that out. Staple that up. Oh shit. They got the Sphinx on top of the Mound Builders casket. I'm on their ass now. See what I'm saying? You, you can work around it these days. You can work around it these days, man. Appreciate the um, appreciate that um star 999. Yeah, man. But it's crazy. And I'm, and I'm working on every every temple, every temple in the Grand Canyon. I got video coming about every one of them. Who them people was and and what and bro, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something about the Grand Canyon. That's crazy, bro. All them temples, all them temples in the Grand Canyon, bro. They go right back to the Egyptian style people. You think them people Buddha? Them Egyptians, man. Well, I ain't gonna say Egyptians. I'm gonna say the same ideology the Egyptians got. They look like Buddhist, but they are. Pharaoh's son that looked like Buddhas. And we and the whole time we thinking they Buddhas. But these fucking the same Egyptian bloodline, bro. We gotta quit going off the look and go off who these people really were. That's crazy. That's cr let me show y'all. I think I think I got a screenshot of it. I think I got a receipt of it. Let me see when I find it. Show y'all something real quick. Let me show y'all. I think this is it, bro. The great sages and pro. Okay, there is a temple of Manu in the Grand Canyon. There is a temple of Manu in the Grand Canyon. Manu just means none. None. Now look where none come from. None replaced by Manu and Ra. See what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me show y'all something. They call it the temple of Manu. Manu is some booty shit, but it come from none. But it come from none, y'all. TikTok, they, they throwing shit up on my live, my bad. TikTok on my ass. But check this out. There is a temple of Manu in the Grand Canyon. Manu is some booty shit, right? They got Manu from none, bro. None is some some Egyptian shit. 
Look at that. Ra replaced by Brahma. They got a temple of Brahma in the Grand Canyon. All that stuff come from Ra, man. Noon is some Egyptian shit, but we don't know that. See what I'm saying? It took it take years to learn that Brahma and goddamn Manu, all this Hindu Buddha stuff come right from the Egyptian style ideology, bro. They put the different names on it. And there we go. Hold on, let me block you, bro. Y'all see this? Y'all look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. The CIA, FBI, U.S. government talking about a red flag. See what I'm saying? Y'all see that, bro? Y'all think I be talking shit. Y'all think I be talking shit. <laughs> don't fuck me on my ass, bro. I just blocked the head, bro. I, ain't, I don't care. I don't give a fuck what y'all doing. Y'all see it, though, right? That's heavy. That's heavy, Key. You see that, right? CIAFBINASA.USGOV. <laughs> they don't want you to know this type of shit, bro. We thinking this stuff Buddha the whole time. This is ancient bloodline mound builder Egyptian shit. <laughs> Y'all see the folks on my red flag, bro? Let me screenshot this. Let me screenshot this, bro, because people think I'll be... Man, I'm hell when I'm well, bro. I'm hell when I'm well. And I'm getting I'm getting worse by the day. I'm gonna put this, I don't give a fuck. I ain't got nothing to lose. I don't care. But I want my people to know this though. I want my people to know this. It was another sentence in here. I ain't get through researching this yet. I really ain't about to show y'all this yet because I was gonna do a video about this. But fuck it. Fuck it. The temple of Manu. And the Temple of Brahma is in the Grand Canyon right now. Google it. Google it. Google it. The Temple of Manu right there and the Temple of Brahma is in the Grand Canyon, right? It comes from Noon, bro, or Nu, replaced by Manu. Noon is some Egyptian shit. See, I say Hindu. Hindu is, is, is Manu. And noon is the same thing as Manu. That's the type of shit they be throwing us off on. We thinking this Buddha over here, this a whole nother religion. They go to the Egyptians, here go the mound builder. The whole time, like I be saying, all that information came from one bloodline of people, man. They just change the names on it and try to make it look like it come from India or it's Hindu or it's Buddhist. Whole time, noon. I think I got the definition of noon somewhere. Let me see that. I know I ain't tripping. Here we go. Ancient Egyptian religion. The land of Manu. Noon. See what I'm saying? We thinking this some booty shit. I know I got the receipt because I was working on a video for this before I started, man. I... Come on, bro. That's how they throw us off, bro. They change the names. They change the different religions and different places on the earth. And we think that shit ain't got nothing to do with us, bro. The whole time, the whole ideology was taken from your people. Ancient Egyptian religion, the land of Manu, to the west, to the west, to the west. Come on, bro. Ain't nobody fucking with me, man. I done told y'all, bro. This shit too. I don't even want to get crunk today, man. Roll the coin one time, bro. Roll the coin, man. Put the coin in the comment. Coin gifts. Ain't nobody teaching this shit. This shit come out the book of the dead of the Egyptians. Land of Manu. AKA noon, N U N. And we think it. Now, let me show y'all something else. Let me show y'all something. Else. If I, I might have to get off here and go find this show y'all, bro. Hey, roll, roll the coin, coin gifts, coin comments. Let me find that receipt and I'm coming right back. Stay right here. Stay right here.
Now look at this shit. Now look at this, y'all. Appreciate y'all for rolling the coin, man. Roll the coin, bro. Keep rolling the coin. Keep rolling the coin. Because this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Why y'all... Y'all be fucking with me, too. Look at this. Manu is a term found in various meaning in Hinduism. Manu. Manu ain't got nothing to do with Hindu. They just made that Hindu after our people had already came up with Manu, man. I told then we see Buddha in the Grand Canyon. We like, why is he there? Why is Buddha there? Why are the old Buddha statues with the eagle poles found in West Virginia and shit? Why is it there? We can't put it together. See what I'm saying? We can I couldn't put it together for years, y'all. I could it took me two or three years to put it together. This shit ain't this is this knowledge is so fucked up and hidden. It's gonna take the shit I be telling y'all, bro. It be taking me years to figure this shit out, bro. I be riding in my car like Manu. Manu Ginobili? <laughs> Bro, how can I figure? And then one day out of nowhere, I see noon, and then I go, okay, that means Manu. Oh, I get it now. There we go. Okay. King Akhenaten's son looked like Buddha. Oh, now I get it. Oh, it's all Egyptian the whole time. Oh, the Anunnaki around here with the with the wing circle oh okay the wing circle came from the mound bill and down to the old mix to the mayans and now the, now and the, the assyrians got it oh now i get it now i'm starting to understand how much stuff was stolen bro they stole religions symbols everything bro and they got all the temples in the grand Canyon. <laughs> Oh my God! Hold on, let me hold on. Let me see if I find something for y'all, bro. Let me see if I find something. Hold on. I think I got a picture of this, bro. I know. I, I think I do. The temple of um. Y'all roll the coin. Y'all roll the coin. Roll the coin. Corn, roll the corn, roll the corn, roll the corn. Roll the corn. Look at this shit. Check this out, y'all. Check this shit out right here. Manu Temple and Buddha Temple. Grand Canyon. See what I'm saying? It took years for me to figure this shit out. <laughs> oh, my God, man. These people, bro, these people think they some smart motherfuckers, boy. Boy, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, y'all sharp, man. Whoever put the colonizer game down, y'all some smart. Y'all, y'all sharp. I gotta get, I ain't gonna hate on you. I ain't gonna hate on you. Y'all put it deep in the knowledge, man. Everybody teaching Egypt the whole time, all that shit right here. The whole time. <laughs> We trying to figure out where Buddha come. Why do our people? Then, then I'm telling you something lately, y'all. Our people, I've been seeing a lot of my people. I've been seeing a lot of our people, melanated people, that like yoga and Buddha and stuff like that. And I'm sitting there thinking like, it's a reason for that, bro. It's a reason people, we gravitate to certain things. That's crazy, man. Now, okay, y'all see this, right? Manu Temple, Buddha Temple. Now let's, now let's go to something else. Now, here go to X Factor. 
He go to X Factor. Roll the coin. Coin in the comments. Coin gifts. Roll the coin. Now he go to X Factor, y'all. And I done showed this a couple of times, but now it's just really dawning on me that this shit is crazy and it's making sense now, bro. It's ma it makes sense now. It makes sense now, bro. King, King's the shrine of Seterprin, Akhenaten's son, bro, looked just like Buddha. And this was supposedly found in Powell's cave in the Grand Canyon. It all makes sense now, bro. Damn. It take a, uh, boy, you got it, boy. You'll burn this out. You'll burn this out trying to learn this shit. They're going to steady teach you Akhenaten, Egypt. Akhenaten, the Pharaoh, Egypt. They pounded Egypt on us so much. They just kept busting us with Egypt. Egypt, Egypt. Shut up, nigga. Egypt, Egypt. <laughs> the whole time, the knowledge is right here, bro. That's crazy, man. Hey, Taylor, my surname, um, original um, Copper Empress. And I found it in the... Um, the Choctaw um, surname. That's crazy. But the whole time, bro, we like, why is Buddha in the Grand Canyon? Supposedly found a statue of Buddha in the Grand Canyon. Why is it there? It don't go nothing with Egyptian shit. That's what we've been thinking the whole time. You know what I'm saying? And I was thinking the same thing years ago until I started learning about the Buddha connection with, with, with Egyptian ideology. Now it go right, it, it, it all add up at this point. Now watch this, one more y'all, this one more. Look at this, look at that bro. Look at that, Egyptian, Kayan. In the Grand King K's cave. Why, I, that's why they look like Buddha. That's why they look like Buddha. These are descendants from Egyptians, bro. <laughs> this is the this is the descendant of Joseph in the Bible, bro. Kion is a descendant of Joseph in the Bible. The one who stored the corn up for the Egyptians, bro. Facts. I got receipts of it. These ain't no Buddhists. These are fucking Egyptian motherfucking children. <laughs> I'm throwing my rope band in the phone, man. This shit is crazy. I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. This shit is crazy, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Ah, that's crazy, man. Let's go back to the other one. Y'all think I'm bullshitting. Because y'all think I'm talking shit. Let me get out of here. Let me, let me get ready to get out of here, man. But let me just show y'all this one more time. Because y'all think I'm just, oh, I just be, uh, somebody in our DM said, man, you just crazy, bro. This shit don't be making no sense, bro. I love it, but it don't make no sense. It should make all the sense in the world, bro. You just got to be using your head. It make all the sense in the world. And will my receipt go that fast? It make all the sense in the world. Here we go. All the sense in the world. Akhenaten's son, bro. Akhenaten's son. Set a print right here. It make all the sense in the world now. This way y'all got that Hindu yoga knowledge, all this eagle pose shit from. It makes sense now. We know the truth now. <laughs> we know the truth now. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know the truth. We know the truth. Now, let me give y'all one more side to hear about the booty shit before I get out of here. We know the truth now. They better hope I, um, see can I find the receipt, man. Because people just don't believe, bro. Look at this. Damn, it's the wrong one. Hold on. That's the Mayan. That's the Mayan one. Hold on. People just don't believe the truth, bro. 
Look at this. Oh my God, bro. What the fuck is going on? Bro? This is some deep shit right here, man. <laughs> bro, niggas, instead of talking about the Nile River, bro, they got this shit right in the Grand <laughs> I'm not falling for the banana in the tailpipe no more, man. Look at this. That's where they got this from, man. Now watch this. I ain't done yet. I got another one. That's even more crazier. I got another one. I got another one. Hold on. Roll the coin, y'all. Roll the coin. Look at this, bro. Look at these black Buddha people with the Jaguar. American. They ain't no dog. That's a Jaguar, man. <laughs> that is the old man, mound builder ass, Mayan ass Jaguar with three black Buddha looking motherfuckers. <laughs> Look, read it. Hold on, it's too little, bro. I can't even see it. The comments in the way, bro. Look at that. That's a black woman. <laughs> Y'all better screenshot this shit. <laughs> bro, them people been lying to us so long, they got us all fucked up, man. We just lost out here, bro. We lost out here, bro. We lost, bro. We way more than some Indians. We way more than Indians, bro. Y'all, y'all so y'all so indigenous at this point. You damn near your blood type is the land. <laughs> you been here so long, your blood type the dirt. Your dirt right, your blood type right out there in the, in the yard, right in Mississippi and Alabama. Your, your blood type right in the Gulf of Mexico on the Mississippi River. Your blood type is red fucking dirt, man. Right in the southeast, bro. The real Kenny. Black soil blood type. I come from the black soil, man. These, these people know the truth. They know the truth. Why is Buddha with Jaguars, bro? See what I'm saying? I'm done, man. Roll the coin. Roll the coin, bro. I've been trying to quit smoking black and miles. Y'all got me still smoking black and miles because I be getting crazy when I look at this shit and it be pissing me off that they be lying. We know the truth now, Boss Moody. These are Buddhist with fucking Jaguars from America. <laughs> Hold on. I got, I, I got one more for y'all. I got one more for y'all. Y'all know I... When I start, I can't stop. Y'all already know when I start, I just keep on busting them upside the head. Because I don't even, you know, FBI put a red flag on my page today. Y'all saw that, right? Some of y'all was in the lab when the FBI put the flag up. But I don't get, I don't care nothing about it. We got to learn something. We trying to learn. We don't care nothing about this shit. Do what y'all, do what y'all may do. Do what you want to do. Y'all just don't let them folk lie on me. Don't let them folk lie on me now. That's one thing y'all don't let them do. When the bullshit hit the internet, y'all get in the comments and say, my boy wouldn't do no shit like that because I didn't do it. <laughs> y'all hold up for me now. Y'all hold up for your boy now. Don't do the other shit. Don't switch up on me now. Like these like they people be going live talking about Rashad Jamal, but they learned everything from him. Do that make any sense? Boy, these niggas, some, boy, y'all some LFNs out here, boy. You gonna learn all the man knowledge, then turn on him and call him a call him a bad guy. Then try to call the man a bad guy on the back end. Y'all ain't no good, bro. Don't do me like that. Please don't do me like that. <clears throat> don't do me like that. Whoa, what is that? Buddha with the corn. Buddha with the corn. <laughs> Whoa, Buddha, where you get that corn from, bro? Damn, agriculture knowledge too? Okay. Bad. Bad. I fuck with Buddha now. 
I fucks with Buddha now. I'm gonna learn everything about him. <laughs> I know where you come from now, Mr. Buddha. Roll the coin. Coin in the comments, coin in the gifts, man. Yeah, man. I be seeing these niggas. Excuse me, TikTok. I'm sorry, bro. Going live, talking about Rashad Jamal, bro. Why y'all want to talk about the man in jail, bro? You watch the man lives every day when he go to jail. Now you motherfucker, you got, he caught corn handy shot. I'm going to find a receipt on these people, bro. Y'all watch all that man information, tweeted all that man, in, watched all the man YouTube lives, all his shit. Y'all watch his girlfriend. Soon he go to jail, he a fuck nigga. <laughs> Boy, y'all some dirty <laughs> Oh, man, y'all some dirty son of bitches, man. Why y'all doing that man like that, bro? I be seeing these conscious creators putting the man up in the live, talking bad about the man. Bro, why y'all talking about that man like that, bro? Y'all learn everything the little knowledge you motherfuckers do get. You learned it from him. That's crazy. That just show me how fast your own people will turn on you, bro. That's crazy. That's wild right there, bro. That's wild. That's crazy. I don't like that shit at all, man. I see people got, they, bro, they, I see people with the man PPP loan paperwork all in the lab. I'm like, bro, y'all done found the man PPP loans. <laughs> Bro, y'all some boy, y'all some messy motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> bro, they had the man. They said the man was a scammer with PPP. Bro, they had the man real PPP paperwork with his name on their address. Say the man scammed the government. Who cares? They've been scamming you for a thousand years. Who cares if you got out on them folks? I don't give a fuck. Y'all, bro. Let me tell y'all something about me, bro. I am not, I am not, I listen to me closely. I am not a con in the conscious community. I don't do nothing with the conscious community, bro. The conscious community is preaching all this Egyptian shit. I'm preaching American. What's on the soil over here? We looking to fight for our own shit. Y'all talking about all that old super Egyptian shit. Which is cool because I know where it come from. But at the end of the day, that knowledge is after the fact of our land. When they get to the old mix and the Mayans, we know the truth now cutting that shit off. Unless it's Cap. Now, if you know it's Cap, I get on the Anunnaki ass. I get on the Anunnaki and the Egyptians. I get on the Egyptians' ass too. I get on the Egyptians' ass too if you want me to now. Because they did have some Hebrew slaves. And you know who the Hebrews was, right? The Nubians. Where the Nubians come from? America. Don't make me get on their ass now. Stay conscious over there with that conscious shit. Stay over there. Don't come over here with the coin. Don't come over here with the coin knowledge. The coin knowledge is going to break all that bullshit down you're talking about. All your Kundalini, seven chakras ass shit, I'm coming with the corn knowledge, bro. Because if you know so much about the seven chakras, why the fuck you don't know where we from? If you know all this old spiritual shit, why you don't know where we from? Huh? You so deep, you know everything. Where we from? You know what they're going to say? Egyptians from Egypt. Nubians from, from Africa. Nah, nigga. No, you ain't smart as I thought you was. <laughs> and then y'all like to turn down y'all own people, bro. We don't turn down our own people, bro. We don't turn down our own people, bro. You know how that man, that man got so big on the internet, bro. You know the government was coming after that man. I just showed y'all. Let me put this shit back up on the screen. Because y'all think this shit a game. Let me put myself back on the screen. You see that? That is a red flag talking about the FBI on my fucking page, man. Y'all think this shit a joke? This shit ain't fun and games. Everybody, I just laugh and talk shit.
Because I don't care nothing about it. I don't care nothing about it. But you see that? That is, it said US, it said FBI, CIA, US government, red flag in the comments on my fucking page on this live right here. This shit happened 20 minutes ago. Y'all think this shit a joke? Y'all think these niggas won't throw you in jail and call you a motherfucking cult leader? They will call you a cult leader, bro. <laughs> And, and and punch and fourth and twenty five and punch your ass up the field. Y'all think this shit a joke? Shit ain't no game, man. How can I hate on that man, bro? How? If anybody tries to teach anything worth learning, you can't hate on them, bro. Even if he did do something wrong, that's not your life. He didn't do nothing to your people. And if he didn't do nothing wrong, you can't crucify him because you don't know the real facts. You say, for what? But yeah, for what? I don't, they don't want, bro, listen, bro. A lot of this knowledge, they, they thought our people weren't gonna never figure this stuff out. They thought our people weren't gonna never figure some of this stuff out, y'all. That's what they thought. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, man. They thought you won't never figure this shit out. That's what they thought. Let me get my boy over here because they flagged me by him. They tried to flag me by him. I was talking shit by him. They tried to flag me. <laughs> Let me throw up anything, bro. But yeah, man. These people do not want you to know this knowledge, bro. For real, man. Y'all think this shit a joke. This is... Man, if you learn all your ancient knowledge, bro, you you know how powerful of people you will become again. You will get to reading about Buddha. You will get to reading about the Egyptians, the mound builders. Now you're getting books. You're getting books. You're learning the real knowledge. Now you're learning. Now you are becoming a real threat because you know your real history. That's when you become a problem. If we can tell you some European shit and you go for it, they got you. Oh, go get a Louis bag and you know, get your get your Mercedes in your Louis bag and, and, and go stun on your own people. And, you know, you ain't reading no books like that. You can have a couple of dollars get you a Louis bag. <laughs> they, don't want you, they want you to say that. They don't want you to say, bro, I'm going to go get that book. Read about my... They don't want you to do that. They want you to um go to work at their job, buy their high-ass European goods that ain't even worth it. Um... Charge you a million dollars for your bills. They want the women and the men to stay apart. They want the women and the men to stay apart so you can't help each other in the time or when they really need each other. Babylon. <laughs> That's what they want. They want you to be a Babylonian. They don't want you to be an indigenous Indian. They want you to be a Babylonian. They want you to be a European. You need to worry about your bills. You need to worry about uh, your car, your nice bins, your large ass house. You need, to you need to worry about going to Walmart. Um, you know, shit like that. European shit. Your status. I make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh my God, I'm so prissy. They want you talking like them. Then you'll sell out. Now they got you. You'll never learn your history like that. Now they got your ass. Now they got your ass. Your skin is starting to turn white tea. Your skin turning white tea. You're getting bumps all over your face. You trying to figure out what's going on. You turn into a white tea. <laughs> we know the truth now. Just like the movie Clone Tyrone, bro. They were trying to take a hood nigga and turn him to a what? A white tea man. Y'all watch y'all watch Tyrone, clone Tyrone. They were trying to make a a hood dude evolve into a white tee so he can stop thinking, so he can stop doing what he like to do, so he can live like them. We know the truth now. They, they y'all think that shit a joke? They really want you to think like that, bro. For real, they want you to think about this. I'm on TikTok. And all I see is 
We don't like hood people. Nigga, your ancestors from the hood. Um, for entertainment purposes only. What you think your ancestors was in the 70s and 60s? Y'all went always in the suburbs. You come from the hood. Your bloodline come through the hood. That's this America, bro. Every, all your black people bloodline ain't gonna have no money, bro. Everybody know that. If you don't know that, you, you tripping. For real. They want you to discredit and talk bad about the hood where your grandma, your great grandma survived in the hood, bro. <laughs> your great grandma house still in the hood, right? <laughs> and you gonna talk bad about the hood, you uppity YT melanating people? Come on, man. I'm trying to stop cussing, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. 30 years ago, your whole family was in the hood. I guarantee it. I guarantee I'll put a a thousand dollars to a bucket of, of water that your whole family was in the hood in whatever city you from 30 years ago. I guarantee it. 1990, all y'all was in the hood. All y'all was in the hood. How you gonna hate the hood? How you gonna hate a black man and a black how, how a black woman gonna hate a black man and a black man gonna hate a black woman? Y'all, they just put any type of thing on the internet and niggas go for it. It's crazy. You can't get no relationship. Everybody got to be making a million dollars getting a relationship. You, you don't like the hood no more. You scared of the hood. Bro, I, I would get out and walk in the hood right now, bro. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. I'll walk through the hood right now. I feel safer in the hood than when I be in the suburbs in Georgia. Come on, man. Come on, bro. They making y'all turn into them, bro. You scared of the hood and your great grandma stayed in the most killer, the most killing is drug dealing is hood in your city. Your great grandma stayed there, but you scared of the hood. You survived all them summers over there when your mama dropped your ass off. Huh? <laughs> they teaching you to hate your own people, bro. How the f you gonna hate your own people? That don't, it's crazy. That's crazy. That's 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 crazy, man. Quit letting these people turn you into them, bro. You want to you want to get your beans and ride off, ride around by your people and turn your nose up on your own people, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Quit doing that, bro. Quit doing that. You turning into them. Quit letting that job worry you to death by the about a raise or about how much you make a year, bro. They might fire your ass tomorrow. It ain't gonna matter what raise they give you if you get fired tomorrow. <laughs> Take that job, invest in something else that bring you some more passive income and go on about your day. Don't worry about these jobs, bro. It wasn't designed for you. People, we just got into what they like to do. You get your money and get the hell out of there, man. Don't worry about this shit. Come on, y'all. I want to be the manager, the vice president. Don't make me 100000 a year. Bro, listen. Let me tell y'all a story before I get out of here, man. They teach our people to go for the status over your own people, right? Let's say you get a job, make $100,000 a year. When you get old, that job is not going to wipe your ass. <laughs> Where is your husband or your wife or somebody who give a damn about you? You cared about that job 40 years, and when you retire, they don't give a damn about you. If you make it that long. But when you get old, ain't no job or ain't no status going to help your old ass get in the bed, man. You better have you a husband or a wife, somebody there who cares something about your old ass and help you get in that bed and, and, and whatever you got to do and take your medicine. Because 
that job and all that stuff these people told you was important is not going to be there. I guarantee it. Your money not even going to help you. You can't even barely even pay these people to come even over here and even see you if don't nobody care about you like that. Because you put your status in your job before everything else. So when you get older, they're going to do the same thing to you. Watch what I tell you. Quit letting these people tell you material things are of the value, make you valuable. No, you make you valuable. You make, the way you treat people, the way you don't put bullshit in front of your own kind makes you valuable. That's a bar, G. That's a big bar. That's, 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 that's just the intro. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's cool to have these things if you can get that and still take care of your, your people, bro. But your people come first, bro. Let my people go, not let my beans go. That beans can run and hit a pole right now today. I got a beans. If the bitch hit a pole today, I don't care nothing about it. It's a machine. We can get another one. But I can't look over my sister and my mama and my aunt and my cousin because of no car, no house, or my friends. I can't do that. The people are way of more value to me than a machine. That's why, I, that's why I, all that agent stuff, I can't sell out. I'm too real for that, bro. I can't sell out. I'm too real for that. I don't care nothing about no money like that. I know how to make money without selling my soul. They can't pay me and make me teach no African ideology. Why? When my grandma told me, I, if, if somebody tried to pay me for trying to teach some African shit and my grandma told me I'm from here, who am I letting down? I'm letting my great-grandmama down. I ain't letting her down. Mm -mm. We, 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 can, we, can, we, can, we can draw back whatever you got to do. I ain't letting her down, bro. I'm not letting my people down. Now, my, my great-grandma told me, Dude, that ain't where you from. But who told you that? School? That's a lie. We've been growing tobacco for hundreds of years in Mississippi. Before Mississippi was a state, we were growing tobacco. You ain't from no Africa, boy. Don't you ever say that again. I'd never forget it. I'd never forget it. Why you say that, grandma? Boy, we've been growing tobacco here for hundreds of years. Your bloodline been growing tobacco here for hundreds of years. And when I found out the mound builders grew cultivated tobacco, they just passed that shit down to our people back and forth through generations. Same people. We know the truth now. I ain't putting none of it before my people. I ain't putting no money before y'all on the fucking internet. Y'all my fucking people. When it all come down to it, it's all about your people, man. Simple. They made they made it like that. They made it like that. We didn't make it like that because they, they, they oppressed us so much. I know it's about the people because y'all oppressed a certain, a certain genre of people so bad that I know it's about the people now. Y'all did that. So when we start doing it, don't say nothing to us. Y'all did us like that. For real. So I say that to say this. We going to learn the truth. We going to do something about this shit this year. This the year. 2024 the year. This the year. This is the year. This the year something going to change. Right here. 2024. Appreciate the corn. Roll the corn. Corn gives corn coming. This the year. We ain't waiting no more after this. This the year right here. I don't even want, I ain't even worried about 2025. This is the year. We got to ride five people, man. We can't, we can't do that. We can't do all that old, she put the sunflowers in there. Shout out to the sunflowers. We can't do all that old Anunnaki. We can't even learn about that no more, bro. We don't care nothing about that. This the year of the coin. 2024, the year of the coin, uh, looky Lou. This the year of the coin. You show right. I'm finna damn near drop the coin t-shirts. Hoodies with nothing but corn on the motherfucker. With just a one big corn stalk on that big white hoodie, corn stalk. <laughs> 
That's how I'm finna drop. Well, we know the truth now. Corn knowledge. We dropping the corn knowledge now, man. I'm finna drop. I'm finna drop the hoodies and the t-shirts. I'm doing the designs for them right now. And trying to get my TikTok shop created so you can buy it straight through TikTok so it'll be easy. But yeah, man, this shit's serious, y'all. These people put the FBI on my fucking page, bro. Talking about some red flags. See what I'm saying? Man, I'm tired, bro. This shit tiring to know that it's tiring to know that our people do not we don't, we, we, like a lot of our people do not know how far back they go in America, man. They don't know. They don't know. Quit, we, uh, see, we got to stop going off the years that they try to teach us about. They want to teach us about 1492 in Columbus. They want to teach us about 1492 all the time, man. That ain't the year. <laughs> fuck, fuck 1492. Bro, we've been here for thousands of years. 1492 is 600 years ago. See what I'm saying? I mean, we've been here thousands of years, bro. Tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. Maybe, I, but listen, I just say artifacts, bro. 100,000 years old. Handmade in America. Who built that shit? Who did that? Brass. Brass is made out of two different two different metals, bro. Somebody had to mix the brass with the heated shit, then sculpt it into a sculpt, a fucking statue. That's crazy. Thousands of years ago. That's how long you've been here. And y'all already know what kind of people done that type of work in the world. Y'all already know what time what kind of people they were. I walked up to a, uh, to a, a man last week with the dog. Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. But any more questions before I get out of here, man? Any more questions? Roll the corn, roll the corn, roll the corn. I just be talking about random shit. It just, it just hit me sometimes, but it's real shit, man. We got, to, we got to start worrying about our people more and, and worrying about the people more, man. Don't let this world turn you into no YT, bro. Don't let this world turn you to no YT, bro. They taking away your power. Your power is you is who you is, bro. You could, if we walk out this at, at the gas station laughing and talking loud on the phone, that's what we do. Oh, that's good. That's hood. That's ratchet. That's what the fuck we do, man. I've been mean, seeing a lot of people do this all my life. It don't bother me at all. Because that's what our people do. <laughs> Shit. It's in our bloodline, it's in our DNA. We're going to smoke some cigarettes. We're going to smoke some weed for the type of purposes only. We're going we to pull up a drink. We're going to do that. It's in, it's in us. It's in us, bro. We're going to barbecue and cook some greens. We're going to do all that. We've been doing it forever. That's just our people the way our people are. We can't be like, I'm not messing with them because they ratchet and hood. If they ratchet and hood, what, what are you? A YT, a YT woman? A Karen? You turn to a Karen? <laughs> oh, you a Karen now. You've been living in the suburbs for three years. Now you a Karen. Get the fuck out of here. Let that job fire your ass. See how long you be living in the suburbs. You be right back in the hood. Now you like the hood again. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a circle of life, man. Shut your ass up. Quit talking about your own people. You are putting curses on yourself talking about your own people. You can't get no nothing from above if you know what I mean. If you hating on your own people, that's foolishness. These people, and then a lot of times, these people come from the same place you come from. The same struggles you had to go through in the same areas of town because they pushed all us to the same areas. And you still don't like these people. Y'all went through the same struggle? That's foolishness. That's ignorance. You competing with the same people at your same area in the same struggle? You're not competing with the elites. 
Don't compete with the people on, on, the, on the ground level. If you want a ball, go compete with the elites. Take your ass over there with Rockefeller and, them and, and Elon Musk and ball and watch they laugh at your ass. If you want it, don't start on your own people and then try to look up to them people. What kind of shit is that? That's foolishness. And I see people do this shit every day. If you want to talk that big money shit, go over there where the big money is. And then see how long your money is. If that's all you want, you ain't even got enough to even be acting like that. <laughs> These people got zillions of dollars and you out here talking about your car, your house, you still paying some notes on. That's regular shit. It's regular people. That's reg regular people do that. Be thankful for what you got and stop acting like YT people. Stop it. For real, man, we got to stop that. That's a big part of the culture that we are against each other because of material things. That is not our culture, bro. We got to stop that. We got to stop that. But I love y'all. I'm going to get out of here. Y'all roll the corn, roll the corn, roll the corn. I just dropped a new video about dude capping about the Tartarian, the Russian, the Russian Tartarian. He capping, talking about, this is an intellectual being. I watched the video. He like, this is an intellectual being. Eight foot tall Tartarians built. Man, that man was a goddamn circus act, man. Quit. Bro, stop lying to, bro, get the fuck out. <laughs> Go watch my last video, man. God damn, bro. Everybody seven feet tall is a, is a Tartarian. <laughs> Victor Wimanyama is Victor Wimanyama a Tartari <laughs> bro y'all got to stop teaching this bullshit knowledge man damn imagine we teach folks how to make a Jordan you see my point but yeah man and, like, and, I'm finna, and when I see misinformation from now on out I'm remixing your video I'm remixing your video. Give me that. Chop that up. Put the real info in there. I'm going to laugh at you too because you got to stop teaching our people these alien white Tartarian redhead giant story, bro. You got to stop teaching that. Quit teaching that Anunnaki. When I see the Anunnaki, I'm attacking every time. That's a red flag for me. Anunnaki, I'm attacking your video. I'm remixing that. You know why? Because I know who they are. I know who they are. Regular Muslims. Moors. <laughs> Regular Muslims. Mesopotamians. Assyrians. Akkadians. Who enslaved your people. Or the so-called made-up Anunnaki. Stolen knowledge from Egyptians and Nubians. Going back to the mound builders. We know the truth now. I'm tearing your Anunnaki. Billy Carson. I'm tearing your Anunnaki videos up. Every time you drop one, I'm, I'm coming right back on you. And it's another dude be on TikTok, be charging people to teach him about the Anunnaki. I'm going to get his ass too. I'm busting his videos down too. I ain't seen him in a while. I don't know if they took, it, took his page or what. But if, if I see him again with all that fake knowledge, I'm on him. We know the truth now. On my YouTube pages, we know the truth now. The link is in my on my page, Cherokee. Y'all go, y'all subscribe to my YouTube because I'm finna start dropping 30 minute hour long um doc documentaries on like the Grand Canyon type shit. I'm gonna go through all the temples, all the all the deities, what all of it mean, and what all of it hook back to. The link, the YouTube link is in my bio. Please subscribe to it because there's a lot of stuff I can't do on TikTok that I can do on YouTube with the longer, you know. Yeah, with the, you know, YouTube, I can talk a little, a little gangster shit. So, you know, <laughs> TikTok, I, I got to stay politically correct. You know what I'm saying? So, I love y'all. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the, the, the follows, the watches. If y'all got a question about anything, put it in the, in the DM, and I'm going to answer it, and we're going to get to the...